What's up, guys and gals? This is Interface. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to see what happens when you switch bigger fan blades for smaller size fans. See if you get more airflow and if it has the power, the horsepower or the watts to actually push the bigger fan blade. All the way to the left is a 20 inch fan, in the middle is a 12 inch fan and on the right it's a 9 inch fan. Now I'm going to take the 9 inch fan take off the blade and take off the 12 inch fan and put the 12 inch fan blades on the 9 inch fan and we'll see if you get more airflow and if the motor itself has the power to push the fan. Seeing as the fan blades will not fit in a smaller fan, I'm actually going to take the motor out of the smaller fan and put it where the motor was on the bigger fan just to test out this theory to see if the larger fan blades will work on the smaller fan and give more airflow.
At this point, I have to actually use washers to hold the screws inside the new casing. As you can see here, the fan blades are in different sizes. Also, the fan shafts are different sizes. So the bigger blade has bigger shaft and the smaller blade has a smaller shaft. So it's going to be a little wobbly. So I can actually account for that by either putting washers or, or something like a spacer or a nut or anything that will keep it from flying off. But that's not much of a problem at this point. It's just to get on the motor to see if it actually spins fast. Here's the bigger blade on the smaller motor and the bigger casing just because it can't fit. But you can always cut it off if it did work or it does work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see the airflow. At this point, it seems like the airflow is not very much. It actually seems lower than the smaller blades. Now, this could be for a few reasons. Um, the motor might not be strong enough just to carry the extra, I guess, three ounces or however much more this blade weighs because it doesn't weigh very much more than the last blade. Or maybe it's because the casing itself isn't grounded on the back. I can't quite figure it out. I'm gonna take off the bigger blade with the smaller motor and put it back on the smaller fan and just bend the bigger blade so it fits inside the fan because the bigger fan is encased in plastic and the smaller fan is more metal so I'm guessing it's not grounded enough which is why the fan blades aren't spinning I'm not too sure why but I'll go ahead and take the whole motor off and the blade off and put it on the smaller fan casing because that fan is completely made out of metal Here I'm putting back the smaller blade to see if the air flows faster like it was before.
and it appears that it is. So I'm getting way more airflow with the smaller blades and the smaller motor than I did with the smaller motor and the bigger blades. So something's just not adding up to me. The only thing I can think of is playing back the bigger blade on this metal casing to see if it's not gr if it wasn't grounded before, but I'm not too sure. Here is the bigger blade on the smaller fan casing with the smaller motor. So the original casing and the original small motor, but just with bigger blades. And I'm noticing the blades aren't spinning as fast. I don't know why. I tried switching the on off slash the three settings for speed. And it's just not as fast as, as a small blade. So the only thing I can think of is weight. So the bigger blades just weigh literally maybe it's not even a pound. I think it's three ounces. Like, you can barely feel the difference, but it's throwing off the motor, the smaller motor from having that heavier weight or, or the blade shaft is just a little bit off so that the bigger blades is bouncing up and down and maybe throwing off the rhythm of the motor. I can't quite figure it out, but the conclusion is that you can't put bigger blades on smaller motors and get more airflow unless they have enough horsepower talking about horsepower or volts slash watts since we're talking about electricity so the smaller motors just don't have the power basically to push the bigger blades even though they weigh almost the same like you literally put them both in your hands and you can barely tell the difference it's that little bit of watts slash volts that makes all the difference now the question is what happens when you put smaller blades on a bigger fan so let's say I get this 9 inch blade and put it on a 20 inch fan the one that I have all the way on the left it would spin I guess the same speed because it has the horsepower if we're talking about gas engines or motors or if we convert that to electricity watts slash volts but you will get more airflow with the bigger fan blades on the bigger fan motor. I'm guessing that if the smaller fan motor has the horsepower slash volts and watts to push the bigger blades, you will get more airflow. It's just that the motor on this particular fan is just not strong enough. It cannot handle anything more than the original blades it came with. If you have a small fan like this, like the nine inch fan you're looking at, with a lot more horsepower slash volts and watts will it be able to push the bigger blades i'm guessing yes and in turn gain more airflow so the whole problem with my situation here is that the smaller motor just can't, doesn't have the power to push the bigger blades in future videos i will see if different fans with bigger motors and bigger horsepower slash volts and watts has the power push bigger blades because bigger blades equals more airflow but you have to have the volts and watts to push the bigger blades that's the problem with my hypothesis with this fan it just does not have the power so this was a fail in the end but I believe my conclusion will be correct if I can find another small fan with more volts watts slash horsepower thanks for watching my video guys 
This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media. And if you like my videos, like, share, and subscribe.